gosh, I'm like, I'm like genuinely scared to see if I wasted my money. <laughs> I'm so scared. Everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and in today's video I am going to be unboxing a 50 pound thread up rescue box. So this is something that I've definitely been uh, eagerly anticipating. It actually came a day early. I wasn't anticipating to film this today but I am super super excited that it is here and I really just want to get it open. So I have not opened it at all. It still has like all the tape. Everything is all sealed. Um, I will say that it does say that my box is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I know there's a lot of like speculation about um, how good the boxes are, like what warehouse they come from, but uh, this one's from Pennsylvania, so we will see how good it is. Um, this is my first box that I have purchased from ThreadUp, so I am fully aware of like the the expectations. I need to keep my expectations pretty low. Um, but yeah, so I did pay $150 for this box. Um, it took about a week and a half to arrive. Relatively quickly, uh, it wasn't that long at all. Um, as you can see, I have a little bit of like chaos going on back here. If you watched my previous Goodwill Vince haul, that is the process of getting all of that listed. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I am so, I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm hoping that I didn't waste my money, but it's okay. The worst case scenario is I get a fun, different YouTube video out of it. So, all right, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so we have, ooh, okay. So I see some fun prints. We have this lovely thread up packaging. Okay, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so the first thing that I'm looking at right here is this New York, New York hat. You know what, I might actually have to move closer so I can really show these things. So you might not be able to see the box on screen, but New York, New York hat. Um, it's from the brand Corridor. Corridor, I've never heard of that before, but it looks like a cool label. So very happy with this. And the New York is actually embroidered on there. So that will be definitely worth selling. A little flat, but it's okay. He just needs a reshape. Very nice. Okay, good start, good start. Uh, next thing, actually I do want some of the box to show. Okay, next thing, okay. I like this print. All right, so it's called a Swomog. Looks like a pajama top. Oh, and there's the matching bottoms. bottoms. Okay. Swomog, it's like a leaf foliage print pajama top. It's very like silky as well, which is nice, but it's probably, there's no care tag. It's probably just a polyester, but we have the top and the bottoms. So I definitely will be selling these, even though they're just like a polyester, I think the print definitely makes it sellable. And it looks like size large, very nice. Cool, for that I'm excited about. Okay, I don't even know what to pull next. Okay, can you tell that I'm so excited? I'm literally like, blah. Okay, this, it's a nice print. This is called Petticoat Alley, okay? I'm not sure if this is a, like a cheetah or a leopard print, but it's this really nice sheer, animal print blouse. This I can definitely sell as long as there's no flaws on anything. I have to really check for flaws later on, but for now I'm just going to get everything out of the box. Very nice. Definitely sell that. Could probably sell that. I'm not, I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm assuming I could get like 20, 25, just uh, basing it off, basing it on like it's just a basic brand. Next, ooh, we have a nice print. Ooh, this is heavy too. What in the world? Okay find a brand hello uh okay t it's t tahari so when i think it's one of the uh diffusion lines of tahari that's super cute i'm assuming this it's either a midi dress or a maxi dress and it's got this really nice ruffle edge um size tag has definitely been cut out i can see that it's been cut out zip back this is great this is so nice this will definitely sell and i really like that print as well Super fun, lovely, that there. All right, I see some career wear. I don't sell too much career wear, well, career, career wear, but it's okay. Okay, so this is a brand, see, I've heard of this brand before. It's called Frenchie. I've definitely heard of it before. It's like a tiny little tag, but I do not remember anything about it, but it is just this blazer with kind of a shimmery uh, interior, but hold on. Ah, okay, so we have our first flaw. 
it looks like the inner the inner is actually whoop, where is it is actually ripped right here can you see that it's got like a someone obviously pulled it open and this one here is like just about ripped as well i there's a potential that i could still sell this but i would probably just donate this one unless it's a really nice brand otherwise i'll probably just uh otherwise i'll probably just donate it but very nice i turned my fan on here just to get a little bit of movement so hopefully the audio is still okay um all right let's grab the next piece we have a black blouse of some sort and it looks like Abercrombie and Fitch size extra small. Um, seeing if there's no, I don't know, this one, it does look definitely very worn and I probably wouldn't sell it. Just a lot of wear. Yeah, I probably would not sell this one unless I was like really close to getting my money back on the whole box, like if I was really struggling, but probably won't sell this one. I went to go turn the AC on because it is actually just like really hot in here. So hopefully that will kick on in a minute. But let's keep going. Um, this is nice and shiny. Let's pick this up. Ooh, okay, so very interesting. Okay, so we have a Fashion Nova, kind of like a faux leather pant. Oh, is this a pant? What is this? Okay, I see pants, but like a whole bunch of like strings. <laughs> um, the tag, it does say matching set two of two. So is the top in here? I don't see it at the top, but maybe it's below, maybe it's totally gone. We will see, but a Fashion Nova set, uh, or a pant that goes to a set. I probably could uh, sell this, especially since it's new with tags, um, as long as it has no flaws. Um, I'll definitely sell this one for sure. Okay. Oh, okay, let's pick something colorful. This is nice and colorful. This is, let's see. Uh, okay, American Eagle size small. So even though I said no to the Abercrombie one, this is actually a really nice style. It's this little crop top. Is that a stain on it? I'll have to check for stains, but it's got this really nice kind of like almost ribbed texture crop top. Um, it does have a couple threads, but they're actually they're not really even attached. So very cute. I am happy with this one. I'm hoping I could probably get around 10 to $15, depending on how new of a style it is um 2019 so not super new but i would say new enough to definitely sell and yeah i'm happy with that one this one's calling to me it is red slightly shimmery all right we have a oh gosh how do i say that play playoni playon the tag is so little i might have to put a little picture of it play playoni I feel like that it sounds like a fancy brand, but I have never heard of it. But we have just this uh, pretty basic red blouse. It's got uh, like a roll button sleeve. Um, depending on the brand, I'm not sure if I will sell this. Oh, is that a stain? Not really, it's just a wrinkle. But this one's definitely gonna need some more research. All right, next up, this looks like some sort of leggings. All right, very nice. Okay, so we have a pair of Athleta leggings, size extra law, extra law, <laughs> you guys, extra law. Athleta leggings, size extra large, the ultimate run, 7 8 tight. Very nice. Uh, this have a little bit of just like surface dirt on the back, but as long as there's no other flaws on here, these will definitely be listed to sold, to sell. Nice little zipper at the bottom. All right, they're a little bit... Oh, you know why? Because this is tied at the top. Okay, I'll untie that and they won't be so painful. Fun! I'm excited about that. Very nice. Those will sell. Okay, oh, this looks interesting. It's got this weird contrast stitching. What in the world is this? Is this a skirt? What is this? Okay, it's got a YKK zipper, so that's always fun. I have no idea what this is. So it's like 100%, it's like felt. It's got this strange, like, colorful contrast stitching. Uh, no tags or brands. Oh, it's got pockets. Okay. No tags or brands in sight. Oh. Okay, it says, like, YKK right there, and then it, like, has an arrow to the zipper. That was really weird. Okay, well, if I could find a brand on here, I would sell it. But you know what? There's no brand. There's no size. Honestly, a really weird type of skirt. Strange. It's cute, though. It's, it's not terrible. I might have to do like a Google image search on it. Interesting, definitely gonna need some more research on you. Ooh, okay, 
Next, okay, we have another pair of leggings. Um, do life. There's the little thing. Do life extra small, basic black pair of leggings. They have this really cool kind of like uh, alternating mesh to like wedding material. Definitely gonna need some more research. I've actually never heard of that brand. Do life, do life activewear. But the tag actually looks like in perfect condition. There's no fading or cracking on here. So seeing if it could sell for a bit of money, I will definitely list these. They're very small though, extremely small. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this looks fun. Kind of striped Aztec print. Okay, I'm not seeing a brand, but it looks like a romper with a cross front, long sleeves. Uh, the material feels okay, but I'm not seeing any sort of tags on here. There's nothing inside either. All right, well, I could list this. I don't love listing things that have no brand. Um, if I can find a brand using Google like image search, but otherwise, this is definitely something I'm going to have to research a bit more. But it looks in really good condition. There's no like pilling or anything on it. So yeah, we will, it could just be like a boutique brand with no label on it, but definitely going to need some more research. Okay. These, what is this? Oh boy. Here we go. What is this? Okay. So this is like a, it's not Spanx. It could be actually. Let's see. So it's a 2XL. It's like a, um, a Spanx type corset. There's a, there's a word for all of those things like shape right there. It is, uh, it looks like a corset. No, I saw a corset. Oh yeah. It's like a corset. It's got all this little like stuff inside type shapewear, but I'm not seeing a brand on here. Oh, you know what? I have it inside out. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. It was right the first time. Okay. Black shapewear. Um, it's got this actually really nice sort of like floral shimmer embroidery on here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks to be very well made, but I'm not seeing a brand. So this is definitely going to need possibly some more research as well, but this is definitely something that I can sell for sure. Okay. All right. So we have something that's very bright. What is this? What, how, why is this so bright? Okay, here we go. Okay. So we have a Roxy kind of like a neon. It's so bright. My, my camera's like so overexposed. Roxy neon dress. This is actually really cute. I think Roxy is like a junior's brand probably sold at like Marshall's TJ Maxx. Um, but I can definitely sell this. It is a size small, but this is definitely sellable. Probably won't sell for very much, but definitely sellable. Whew. All right. Let's see. Next we have divided, not a brand that I normally pick up. Uh, basic black long sleeve has like a keyhole front. Very nice. Not sure if I'll sell this, um, but it could just be like a nice, uh, staple for somebody. So we'll see. <laughs> um, next I am new. Okay. I've never heard of this. Okay. So this tag is very faded. Okay. I am nude <laughs> active wear. There it is. I am nude spelled N E W D. Very nice. Uh, just a sports bra. It has this like lime green mesh. Where's the front? Okay. Cross back, lime green, lime green mesh. Uh, yeah, this looks like something very sellable. Um, is there, looks like there is a tiny little tear in the mesh right here. So definitely gonna need some research to see if it's worth selling with a small flaw or if it just is gonna be donated. Next up, okay, lovely. Oh, it is new with tags. So we have a Croft and Borrow Intimates 2X blue floral tee. It is new with tags. Um, I don't normally put stuff like this in my closet, but because it is new with tags, ooh, let's see. From Kohl's, initially wanted $40. It says it is a two piece. I'm only seeing one. Um, <laughs> was on clearance for $12. So uh, this is definitely a maybe. You will see if I will list this one. Uh, this looks like some sort of scarf. Here we go. 100% poly. Oh, is it a scarf? No. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. We have a scarf, um, light pink, sheer, it's got lace on it. Uh, as long as there's no flaws on here, this is definitely something that I could sell. So I'm not mad about that one, but let's keep going. All right, we have another black piece. This is, looks like a no brand. A no brand? Another no brand. It has a bunch of like string on it where there probably was a tag attached, but this actually is a little dirty. You could definitely use a wash. Um, it is this black top has some fun black lace at the top. 
a um, little bit of wash wear, a little bit of pilling. Uh, we do have a style tag. Yeah, nothing special, but probably will not get listed just because it's so basic. But maybe I'll see if anybody that I know wants it, but it'll probably just get donated. Okay, ooh, I'm gonna pull this because I see a tag. So this is, the brand is called Closet, Closet London, uh, US size four. Okay, it's all folded up. It is this, oh, interesting. This belted kind of fit and flare navy blue dress. Uh, definitely is gonna need like a lint roll, but I'm actually not familiar with this brand, so I don't really know what, I don't really know what to say about it. Definitely gonna need some more research, but if it's a nice brand, I could sell this. It's a little bit like worn. Maybe once I get it like a lint roll in a steam, I will decide. But it's got like a nice zipper on the back and a nice like floral co collar. So not terrible, not terrible. Okay, looks like we have, what is this? Okay, so we have a new day that is Target. Looks like a pair of these brown, these are brown, like a very dark brown. They're not, they are leggings, but they're like thinner than leggings. Um, Target probably will not be selling these. Um, yeah, these are probably just get redonated, but we will see. <laughs> um, let's keep going. Okay, we so have, whoa. All right, so we have a pair of brown jeans. These are from Fashion Nova, size, size, oh, it's, so it's juniors, three or 26. Just some brown skinny jeans, very stretchy. I'm not sure if I'll be selling these ones. Probably not. They do look a little bit like worn. These will probably just get redonated as well. All right, I'm ready for something good. I'm ready for something good. Okay, this is interesting. Ah, not the greatest. I do not remember what this brand is, but I know it's like nothing super special. I don't remember the name of it because the tag is ripped out. But actually, these are not terrible. I could potentially sell these just for the print, but they are capris. So that is really uh, pulling against them. Not terrible, not terrible. They actually look in really good condition. So I will take a look at them and decide if I want to list these or not. All right, we have a pair of white jeans. Oh, okay, here we go. Please be, uh, they are stained. Okay, so uh, Adriana Goldsmead, they're called the Haley Ex-Boyfriend Roll-Up. Um, size 27, so decent size. I do see a very light stain. Wow, that is so overexposed. <laughs> okay, um, a nice, how do I, I don't know. I might have to like digitally change that. Um, not... These are actually pretty good. If I could get that tiny little stain out, I will definitely be listing these, but not bad. I'm excited for these. Okay, so this is called Marie Oliver. It's probably so overexposed, there we go. Marie Oliver. Um, you know what, this actually kind of feels like silk, but it could just be polyester. Oh, it is 100% silk, dry clean only, okay. Um, besides the couple, oh, besides the more than a couple stains that I see on my friends, this is not too bad if I could get those stains out, but because it is silk, guys, I'll probably just be re-donating this one, but not terrible. It must be a decently good brand, Marie Oliver, but I've never heard of it. I'm gonna take this, this looks interesting. Ooh, okay, so I don't hate this brand. This is 41 Hawthorne. Um, this brand actually comes a lot in Stitch Fix boxes. I think it actually, it's possible that it is like a Stitch Fix brand, so like only comes in Stitch Fix. I feel like that might be right. Um, really cool, kind of printed, fit and flare dress. It does have, oh, you know what? This is a belt. It looks like it was attached to the sleeve. Okay, it's just coming through the sleeve. So we have the dress and the matching belt. So this one will definitely be listed. I have no idea at what amount, but very nice, looks great. Up. Okay, this feels kind of little cheapy. It's called Z, Z Supply. I feel like that's another like TJ Maxx, Marshalls type brand. Um, it's a very thin, Honestly, very see-through as well. Um, blue jacket. I'll just see if anybody that I know wants this one. Otherwise, it'll probably just be re-donated. All right, what is this? Oh, I should have tied my hair up. This is getting annoying. Okay. <laughs> um, for like half a second, I thought it said made well, and I got really excited. Um, it says, oh gosh, mystery, M-Y-S-T-R-E-E. -E. Maestri. No idea. But this, oh, it's a dress. 
Oh, this is cute. Okay, so a little bit out of style, a little bit like 2012, <laughs> but this really cute top with a little ruffle and then a little bit of like a pencil skirt. Uh, definitely not mad about this one, but depending on the brand, I probably will be selling this one. It might sit for a while and it might not sell for that much, but I'm going to list as much as I can. So not too bad. Not too bad. Boy, we're not even halfway through this box. Oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta step it up here. All right. So we have a Charlotte Russe striped kind of crop, kind of like a mini tee. Oh, it's a crop. It is slightly cropped. Um, size small, you know what, I could list this one, but if I listed it, I would only be expecting like five to $10 from it. Not much at all. Uh, we have something that's pretty color, although it's very faded. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so it's Zara Truff, I can never say this. Zara Truffulic, 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 that's right. Truffulic collection. Uh, it's actually a cute little like, uh, floral kind of body contrast, but I'm seeing some stains. I'm seeing it just looks overall like very faded. You probably can't tell on camera. Probably looks so bright on camera, but it is like very faded. This is definitely like I need to Google this one to decide if I'm gonna list it or not, but we'll see. I'm gonna need another sip of coffee. <laughs> it's going alright. I'm not mad. I'm not mad, but I'm I'm kind of like so so right now. So I'm a little let's see what you think kind of like tips me either way, but Next up, let's see. Okay, so we have Gap. These don't look like in great condition. They look like in between like joggers and leggings, but they're, they're honestly very, I don't know. I don't know if I just need like, I'm not sure what these are. They look like definitely some wash wear on these for sure. Um, a size small, just like navy blue, kind of like joggers, but they have this like seam here and a seam on the side and a seam on the back. So definitely like an interesting cut, but I don't know if these are going to get listed. Okay. Ooh, I see something fuzzy. This looks promising. Not really. Uh, Massimo Supply Co. I have a feeling, is that Kohl's? Something wants to tell me that's like Kohl's or JCPenney. Massimo? JCPenney? One of those brands. Um, velvet sweatpants. Uh, missing the waist tie. No waist tie in here. I can see that it's missing. Yeah. These will probably not get listed, but they have cute pockets on the back, but these are definitely not going to get listed. What is next? Oh, I'm going to reach to the bottom. I shouldn't, but I am. Whoa. Okay. So we have, this looks promising, kind of like sunset colors, definitely like a knit, kind of feels like a wool blend. Uh, no brand tag, but it feels really good quality. We've got balloon sleeves. I love balloon sleeves. So cute. Let's have a look. Um, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. It's called Something Delicate from somethingnavy.com. Um, 66 acrylic, 12% alpaca. So that's worth your field of wool. Um, 10 nylon, 7 poly, 5 spandex. Okay. So I'm actually really happy about this. As long as there's no like major holes in here, but this is definitely something that I can list and potentially get some good money from. Okay. Let's keep going. We have a pair of what in the world? Ooh, interesting. Okay, so this is J. Crew trademark. This actually looks like the new J. Crew tag. It's kind of like cursive. We have this. It's kind of like a. Um, it's not chambray, but it's kind of like a jean jacket. But it's very. It's like thin. It's not like quite normal jean. And we have a tie around around the back. Uh, as long as this has no major flaws, it will definitely get listed. Let's see if I can show that a bit better. Jacket with a tie. But it uh, looks great. I don't see any like major flaws. Maybe one little pull here, but I can definitely fix that. Yeah, great, lovely. Okay, we see, I see more patterns. I love patterns, you guys. I'm just gonna pull this out. Okay, brand, Mon Ami. Interesting. Um, besides the sleeves being kind of cool and Christmassy, the rest of the sweater is very plain. It actually looks, it's like a tunic sweater. This could actually get listed. I'm not opposed to listing something like this. Probably won't sell for very much, but I'm definitely not opposed to it. Okay, we got lots going on here. Let's pull this. Uh, Yandy, Yandy.com. Never heard of it. I think it's just one of like the fast fashion brands. Let's see. Um, this is actually really cute. I like this. It's a lace, like a sheer cover up. Can you see me? <laughs> With like lace edges and a lace. Um, what is that called? Like a a cuff. There you go. Uh, definitely not opposed to this, although, what is that? Is that a tie? I'm not really sure. 
I'm definitely gonna have to Google this brand, but it's probably not worth very much because it most likely is like a very fast fashion brand. I have a class in like an hour, so I need to like on the way here. Okay, I'm gonna just turn this over. Let's see. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we go. A no brand. Interesting. Nice knit sweater. Kind of looks like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like Tommy Hilfiger, but not really. Uh, there's not even an RN number on this tag, so probably another like fast fashion, but this could, because of the print, I probably will list this as long as it doesn't have any holes in it, but I wouldn't expect much, maybe $20, maybe 15, but not bad at that. Okay, we have a nice print. Uh, once again, a no brand. Um, leopard leggings, oh, you know what? These have got a nice flare on them. This is nice. So these will I will definitely list because of the flare. I was, I'm assuming that this is probably from like Fashion Nova, Shein, one of those. Um, but we'll see. Not, it's not terrible, but not great. But they look in really good condition. They just look like they were like hardly ever worn. So not bad, not bad. Um, okay, do we have something shiny? What is this? Oh my gosh, is this? I'm highly, you know what this is? <laughs> Okay, this is a like a swimsuit, but it's like there's the bottom of the swimsuit, and then you take the two sides and you tie them together. Okay, um, it literally says one size on here, so I'm thinking Shein. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, if I'll even sell these. Honestly, I don't really like selling like swimsuits and stuff if they're not new with tags or have like the hygienic liner in there. So those are probably just redonated. <laughs> um, ooh, you know what? I see. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, Fabletics. Uh, looks like new with tags. Fabletics. Some people really hate Fabletics, but like, I don't mind selling it. Like, it's a nice brand. Um, it is the Pure Lux ADE by Fabletics. It looks like just a nice basic pair of black leggings. It's actually got a cool kind of like keyholes slash like twisty bottom here. So I'm super happy about these. These will definitely be sold. They look like a really small size. It's called the Oasis 7-8. Ooh, you know what? I don't know if there's a size tag in here. Uh-oh, that might be why um, Thredda projected them. Yeah, it looks like there was a size tag ripped out of here, but I could definitely estimate. I'm not um, I'm not against doing that. I could totally estimate and still list those, but honestly, it looks like they're either small or an extra small for sure. Next, this looks good, promising. Um, okay, we have another Fabletics. This is a size large. I've seen so many. I, think, I literally think my sister has the exact pair of these leggings. Maybe she might want them. <laughs> They're like a navy blue ribbed legging. Yeah, my sister has these exact leggings. Um, and they have this like, this this thingy on the back, it's like um, like laced up almost. But they do have quite a bit of pilling in on the inside. Ugh, yeah, not super good condition. I could probably sell these, but honestly, I'd probably ask if my sister wants them first. I'm not gonna like rush because of that pilling on the inside. Not terrible, like totally still wearable, but I would probably ask my sister first if she wants these. Um, okay, this looks, oh, this looks promising. Okay, so this brand, uh, it's called Auden. I have sold this brand before, but it looks like this nice kind of, it's almost like um, a shapewear type bra. Super cute. Uh, this will definitely sell. Well, you know what? This only sold for $13. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so I probably will not, yeah, this one's got a $13 tag on it. I thought, I don't know why I thought these were definitely more expensive. But this may be something that I actually might keep to myself, see if my sister wants it, but um, not bad. I could sell it, but I probably wouldn't get much for it. Um, and after Poshmark fees, I really wouldn't get anything for it, but we'll see. Um, okay, I see a tag. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this is that weird... Oh, is that the fashion over? No. Okay, so this is the, the other piece for that complete tied swimsuit. This is just all sorts of confusing. So... Because I have the bottom of the top and I clearly have a tag, it's possible I may list these, but honestly, this it just feels so cheap. Um, I probably won't. It's called Vixen. Vixen, sexy for everybody. From Fantasy, Fantasy Laundry. Okay, well, not promising, but I'll definitely Google it just to see, but like, I don't know, dude. I don't know what those, okay, I see another pair of leggings. But so many, oh no, not leggings, like activewear. Okay, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, I have absolutely no idea what this brand is. It's like a weird upside down heart, but basic athletic tank top. That's cute. It's got like a nice like curve in it, which I like. 
This is something I will probably see if my sister or if I want to keep it, um, but probably won't be listing this, but it's cute. It's not terrible. Um, okay, so we have some floral print. We have a skirt. So this was from Simply B. I don't see a size, but oh, it looks like a large size, which is nice. Floral, real flowy skirt. Um, I don't hate this at all. There's a tiny little stain there that I could try and get out. I'm not sure if I'll be listing this one. Um, I don't think the brand is really anything special, but it's definitely cute. There's something wrong with it. Ugly. Um, let's see here. Okay, this is called Hippie Rose. I think this is another like TJ Maxx brand. Basic black long sleeve v-neck. Uh, it's got ribbed cuffs, which is nice, but probably won't be listing this just because it's so basic. Um, I really don't think it's going to draw any, any like attention. No one's going to click on a listing, you know? Uh, H&M tag retailed for $29.99. It looks like a nice striped button up. Is it a tunic or is it just a really, oh, maybe it's a dress. You know what? It looks kind of like a shirt dress. I'll have to Google that for sure. Size four, you know, only, oh no, US 14. That's weird. It says US size four and then underneath it, it says 14. No, US four, that's right. Um, this actually could be listed because it is new with tags. Definitely gonna need a steam, but I don't hate it. It's nice. And I'm definitely realizing that probably listing some of these like H&M and some of like the smaller brands are really gonna what is really gonna be what helps me like recoup a lot of my money. So I'm definitely not opposed to listing things like that. Just, be, just because I say that I'm not listing it doesn't mean that I really won't, but it all kind of depends on where I'm sitting at the end. Uh, this is actually really cute, but I don't see any sort of brand on it. Oh, Shein, lovely. <laughs> uh, Shein does have cute stuff sometimes, even though they're a terrible brand to buy from. Uh, it is this, um, there's a name for it, and I do not remember. Basically, it's like a stitch, like has all these like little holes in it. It's got little like fluttery ruffle sleeves, baby blue, super cute. But because it's from Shein, I probably won't. It probably only like sold for five bucks, but but it's definitely something I'll see if anybody that I know wants this. Otherwise, it'll probably be redonated. All right. Oh, okay. What do we have here? No brand. A headband. Interesting. This will probably just be redonated. Um, another, it looks like an athletic shirt. <sighs> Michael Stars, the original T. Let's say maternity. Michael Stars, okay, maternity. I have heard of Michael Stars. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea what this would retail for. Uh, basic blue t-shirt. I'm pretty sure that says maternity. Mater it's kind of like covered up. Maternity, yeah, that is maternity. So maternity shirt, definitely gonna need some more research on this guy. But it looks in great condition, so not terrible. Um, you look like more career wear. A no brand career wear. Honestly, this feels really cheap. Um, the lining feels really cheap. Just watch it be like some crazy fancy brand. Oh my gosh. Are there any other tags in here? Hold on. Hold on. Let me investigate. Okay. I'm not seeing any tags in here. That would be bad if it was like a really good brand and I just said it felt really cheap. <laughs> um, this feels really cheap. It, someone could use this, uh, probably be redonated, but I will not be listing this. Um, okay. We have a scarf. Ooh, I have a few scarves that feel just like this and they ended up being like pashmina, pa pashmina, um, basic scarf. It's got a really nice kind of print and a nice shimmer to it. Uh, so this could definitely be listed. I'm not mad at this one at all, even though there is no brand or content tag unless it's hiding from me. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Um, but yeah, you know, even polyester scarves, they still sell if it is polyester. I'm hoping it's better than that, but who knows? They definitely still sell. Okay. I'm seeing some sort of, oh, I thought this was a sports bra. Um, this is not, this is a pajama, a swim bottom called Shade and Shore. I've never heard of this brand. Size small, uh, swim bottom, but it's got this really cool, can you see it? It's got like that. There you go. Got a little like a lattice work on the sides. It is not new. It doesn't have a hygienic liner unless like the other one, I can find a top with a tag. This one will probably be redonated. Um, yeah, shame, but okay. Let's see. Ooh, this is an interesting. This is a very interesting print, a pair of leggings. I'm not seeing a brand tag, but I don't think like the really fancy brands make stuff like this print. Um, okay, interesting. And an interesting one leg has got like this weird block stripe thing. Um, oh, here we go. What is that? The warm up? Okay, I have a brand. It is called the warm up. I don't know if you can see that at all. It says it like, 
appear in the shimmer letters. Um, this is definitely going to need some more research. I've absolutely have never heard of this brand. Absolutely no idea. But they look in really good condition. Um, even if it's not a great brand, they feel relatively nice. So I probably will list these. Someone's always looking for like crazy print lightnings, right? Okay. Ooh, we got, oh, we got something big and heavy. Some sort of jacket. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Now, this, some people are kind of like, man, about this brand. Uh, this is an Eileen Fisher. This is a dress. Oh, girly. Here we go. Okay. Eileen Fisher, size small, zip up dress. It is black, which I don't love, but it has pockets. Um, it kind of feels like, um, it almost feels like an athletic wear type of thing. Athletic wear type of thing. An athletic wear type of sweater. 91% uh, cotton. I'm not seeing a date or anything on here, so I have no idea where this is from. I'll definitely have to do some more research on this, but even if it's not an as desirable brand, will definitely be listed. There's no reason, unless I find a flaw on it, there's absolutely no reason why we're not listing this. So, super happy, Eileen Fisher. Sorry, I just spotted something. And this is what I think it is, hold on. No, it's not, oh my gosh, okay. I found a Nike skirt the other day, um, exact same print, but like, um, like pink instead of the blue. I thought this was one of those. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, Divided. It's new with tags. Uh, retail 25. Kind of like a schoolgirl skirt. I don't know if this is actually like a child's like actual school outfit because I know some kids are like required to wear school uniforms or if this is more like a style piece. Uh, I'm not really sure about that, but I don't normally pick up Divided, but because it is new with tags and it is kind of like a desirable style, a lot of people wear stuff like this all the time, uh, I probably will be listing this. There's no reason not to. Fun. Wow, there are so many pairs of like athletic wear. I don't know if everybody like purchased their athletic wear for the new year and now that it's like the end of the summer, people are getting rid of it. I'm not really sure. You know how that goes. Um, no idea what brand this is. I could probably figure it out, but it is completely faded. Looks like just a basic black, oh, skort or skirt? Skort. Okay, so we have shorts underneath. Um, it does have some wash wear. Probably won't be listing this. Basic black skort. Cute, but not quite for me. Next, I see another fun print. I love the fun prints, honestly. Liz Claiborne, size six petite. Okay, not terrible. I've sold things, I've sold a few things just like this. Uh, kind of patterned skirt. It's got like little like pleats at the front, not pleats, like little like extra segments for like lots of like ruffly movement. Don't hate it. Don't love selling skirts. They seem to sell, take a long time to sell, but I definitely don't hate it at all. Fun. Not too bad, not terrible, not terrible. Ooh, what is that? Arrow, is this Aeropostale or? Aeropostale, definitely. Unless I'm just not with the times, definitely an older Aeropostale tag. Like it's a cursive, but loose knit, kind of like a loose kind of see-through knit, long sleeve. Uh, this one I can list, not super excited about listing something like this, but uh, definitely list listable because it, especially it's like, got like shimmery. This would be really nice for like the holiday, New Year's. So I would see this being like really cute with like a, a black mini skirt. Yeah. Cool. Not mad at that. I'm going to say that like a thousand times. I'm not mad at that. Okay. I'm like sorting through stuff now. Ooh. Okay. Another pair of leggings from French Laundry. I've heard of this brand. I honestly don't really remember anything. I don't remember anything about it. Size small, medium. Wow. Are these, these are not leggings. These are like thick tights. That's what these are. They, they kind of look like leggings, but they're like, they're like almost like tights. Like you would definitely have to wear like a skirt or something over these. Um, these are just gonna need some more research. What is attached to the bottom? Just a fluff. Wait, is that strange? Just a fluff, okay. Um, definitely gonna do some more research on these. We'll see. Oh, okay. I'm confused. Why, oh, oh, okay, okay, I understand. Here we go. This is very cute. Um, I don't see a brand. It feels not the greatest quality, but it feels like okay. Leg Avenue. <laughs> That's an interesting brand size medium. Um, this is super cute. This is definitely something that someone could wear to like a festival. So cute. It's like beaded. It's got like a really low back at the back. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be with listing this as some sort of festival wear. So happy about that. That's fun. 
Next, I'm trying not to like sort. I'm just trying to like grab what's on top. Okay. Oh boy, what do you say? What in the world? Coeur de vague? Coeur de vague? Coeur de vague. Okay, sure. There it is. Coeur de vague. <laughs> Um, this kind of feels not too fun. It's got like a cool like cross front, but it doesn't feel too high quality. It just feels like polyester, honestly. Unless it's like a really like prestigious brand, I probably will not be listing this. Hello, there we go. Yeah, 95% poly. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna get redonated. Cute, but unless it's like got some value to it, I probably will not be listing it. Next, ooh, is this a dress? Oh, it feels good. It feels relatively good. Another weird brand, My Haul, M I H O L L. My Haul, you probably can't even see that, but as long as you guys have flaws on it, looks listable. We got ruffle sleeves, we have a tiered design with like a ruffle bottom. Hopefully, no stains on them because it looks like really good condition. All right, here we go. Nice, kind of festive, could be a Christmas dress. Not mad at that. Not the greatest quality, but also, oh, you know what? We do have a flaw. Damn. We got a hole right in the side right here. Okay, so this one, that's not even something I could stitch either. Yeah, this one will probably just be redonated. It's like definitely coming apart right there. Wah wah, but unfortunate. Super cute though. Oh, you look promising. You look very promising. Uh, Forever 21. <laughs> um, this is actually pretty cute. As long as there's no flaws on here. Uh, because it's knitted, it looks like like lar large sleeves. This could definitely be listed and definitely sell for at least ten to fifteen dollars. So not terrible. Next, ooh, ooh, inter oh my gosh, it's bigger than I thought it was. What is this? Is this a robe? Oh, this is a robe. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, bathin, bath with an en at the back, bathin. Um, actually, this is not too bad. It's like a waffle knit robe it, yeah it does have the tie which is good if it didn't have the tie it would be like a definite like immediate donate but because it has the tie i'm not mad at this at all it's a cute color cute texture uh looks in really good condition so i've never heard of that brand bathin uh definitely gonna need some more research on that one uh old navy pair of black joggers i could list these kind of depending on where i'm sitting at the end of everything once i've like evaluated uh how much i think i can get from this box this is definitely a Baby list. It is a size extra small, so not looking great. But you know, it does actually feel it feel like a linen. Is it linen? It's 55% linen. So that's that's definitely a maybe. That's that really works for it. So we will see. Not 100% sure on those ones. I'm just trying to grab. Why does this feel? It's like cold. It's not wet, but it's like oddly cold compared to everything else in the box. Okay. Um, just a gildan shirt. This is USA on the front. Honestly, this could totally be listed. Um, I know a lot of people would not list stuff like this, but uh, some people just want like basic wear like this. I probably will list this one. Not bad. Next up, okay, we have some sort of dress from, okay, this is brand, a brand I do not pick up. It's called Artisan NY. Basic black sleeveless dress. Um, probably won't be listing this one. I might see if my sister likes something like this. It is a size large, maybe, probably not, but maybe. Feels nice though, it's like a nice material. Red, something red, it looks like. Willie Smith, never heard of that brand, size small. It looks like a, it, the, the, the tag, the tag looks fancy, but it's probably not much of anything. It feels really soft. Uh, basic, um, like red sleeveless shirt. I'll definitely research this one, but I'm leaning towards no. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We have more leggings. What is it with the leggings? Oh uh, no, what brand is this? Old Navy Active, the balanced legging. Oh, capris as well. Not looking good for these leggings. These ones will probably just be redonated. And something else that's red. Oh gosh, what brand is that? Kira. No, I don't know. Lirani. Lirani. Lirani? Oh, oh gosh, it's a crop top. Okay. <laughs> Uh, crop top. It's actually not bad. It reminds me of like NASCAR type stuff, uh, but it's definitely like a fast fashion brand. It feels very cheap. Stitching at the bottom is not good at all. It does have kind of a tie, but these will probably, this will probably just get redonated, honestly. Next. 
Ooh, this feels. It's either cashmere or like polyester that's like suspiciously. Someone just sneezed. Suspiciously feeling like cashmere. It it's probably is polyester. Polyester and acrylic, if I had to guess. Um, Uniqlo, not a super great brand. Basic sweater. It does have a ribbed, ribbed kind of cuff and hem. If it's cashmere, I'll list it. If it's not, it's probably being donated. Oh, 100% cashmere. Okay. Here we go. So, oh no. Oh no, I thought I saw a hole. Okay. Um, barring that there are no holes in here, this will get listed. It actually looks like pretty good condition. I say that. I need some wood to knock on for real. Um, okay. If there are no holes in here, this will definitely get listed. Uh, otherwise, to live while it goes. Um, H&M Basics. Basic black long sleeve turtleneck. I feel like, did we have one of these earlier? We had something similar like that earlier. Um, this one is just going to get redonated unless my sister wants something like that. Uh, Z by Zella. Never heard of this brand. Looks like basic black type jogger leggings. These will probably just get redonated as well, but I'll do some research to see if they're worth anything. I feel like we're definitely moving faster now. <laughs> Um, okay, this is Lush. 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 I don't, I feel like I know that brand, but I don't know that brand. Um, another basic black tee. This is definitely like a dol dolman sleeve type tee. Kind of like real slouchy. Possibly because of the style I could list it. Honestly, probably will just be redonated. I don't love listing black things. They're really hard to photograph, really hard to sell. Just all around not great. Um, I'm gonna just pick this that I see in the corner. What in the world? One Vision, Seven Cities. Oh no. It's another Divided. This is not terrible. This is not terrible. It's like a popcorn knit sw crop sweater. It is black. It does look in really good condition. It says One Vision, Seven Cities. Absolutely no idea what that means. This is a maybe list. Not sure about this one. Cute though. Not terrible. My two piles have like merged into one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, fun. Okay. So this is some sort of scarf, but it's got like a really nice floral embroidery on it. Do we have a tag? Ah, sorry for the construction noises. We're replacing the water heater in my house right now. Okay. No. Ooh, that's like a weird cut at the edge, but did somebody cut this in half? It kind of looks like somebody cut this in half, but sure. Um, super cute embroidery, not against it. Could possibly list this. Um, yeah, not sure about that one. It does look like somebody definitely, oh yeah, somebody definitely cut this because the other end is like, like nice and stitched and the one end's like a raw hem. Okay, those will probably be redonated, maybe list, don't really know. Okay, next. Okay, some sort of athletic wear. Please be Lulu. Okay, you are not Lulu. I have no idea what this is. I've never heard, oh. Okay, the brand is called Salus, S-A-L-U-S. Luxury lifestyle clothing, um, white kind of tank top with a built-in sports bra. I do see a very small, kind of just look like a makeup sponge on the front. Otherwise, it looks in pretty good condition. Uh, could possibly list this one for sure. Looks really nice. Looks cute. That's something I would definitely wear. Not too bad. Okay, we're probably got about a third of the box left, so we're definitely moving along. Um, we have another one of those weird upside-down heart brands, a uh, basic athletic tank top. I don't know what brand this is. Maybe I figured it out earlier. I don't really remember. Basic kind of white pattern tank top. Not doing great. Not terrible. It's all right. Not too bad. Probably won't list that one. It'll probably just be redonated. Um, okay, we have another Zara, but it's like a weird, I've never seen this Zara tag before. It's like a, oh gosh, can you see that? Hello? There we go. Zara tag, I've literally never seen that before. It does say it's tinsel. And here is the style tag. All oh. <laughs> this is definitely an older piece. Um, tinsel, probably not friends, probably not. I do love tinsel. Oh, you know what? I am seeing a hole. Got a little hole there, so automatic. That is gonna be a donate. All right, oh, not looking great, friends. We got Gilligan, Gilligan and O'Malley sleepwear, basic green tank top. We'll probably be redonating that one. Okay, we have some good pieces, but nothing too crazy yet. Besides the Eileen Fisher, that was a good find. Hopefully that one is okay. We'll see if it will save me. But I'm looking for something else. I need something else that will save this box. Derek Hart, extra small. I've sold a couple things from Derek Hart. 
Um, they do take a really long time to sew, but we have this cute little striped mini dress. It does have a belt on it, which is really nice that the belt is still here. Uh, the belt's actually in really good condition. There's not like cracking or anything on it. So um, this actually looks pretty new. I don't know if I'll be listing this one. It really depends on where I'm sitting uh, financially with this box at the end, but I'm leaning towards no. <laughs> okay, we have something white. I always get stared. Oh, we got pants. Okay, let's take a look. Is this, is this the top? Okay, I see a tiny little size medium, but no other information. We do, oh, whoa, no, I swear I saw pants. No, it's just a slit. Okay, sorry. Just a slit. It is a dress. No brand, size medium. It is cute, but I feel like this is definitely something you would have to like model to sell when I do not model clipping. So not looking good. Not looking good for that one. Probably going to be re-donated. Okay. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Please be good. Oh, yes. Okay. This is not like a great brand. Is it? Am I confused right now? I feel like I might be confused right now. Antonio Milani, that's a good brand. Am I? Boy, I feel like my brain is just like a jambles. Cute, actually this is not bad. A little bit, I think the, the style is a little dated, but um, it's actually not bad at all. Antonio Milani dress, size 12, so a great size. Let me see if there's a year on here. If it's a, a newer style, let me see. Let me find out, dry clean only. I'm not seeing a year. I'm not seeing a year. Uh, not bad, actually. I will definitely get this listed. Not terrible at all. I like it. It actually looks in really good condition as well. It's got like a weird, like, it's like chrome metal. Interesting. Okay, very happy with that. Hopefully, I'll definitely have to check comps on that one. I, I know that's like a decently good brand, but like, no guarantees on that one. Okay. <sighs> More leggings. What is happening? And you know, I haven't even gotten like one pair of Lulu's like yet. Come on now. Give me some Lulu's. Okay, this is... Oh boy, here we go. Valera? Valera Dancewear. Okay. I've never heard of this brand, but they're very interesting pair of leggings. They're like slightly shimmery. Definitely something that like for dancewear, like definitely like stage wear. Like you wear this on stage. That's what it feels like. Um, definitely gonna need some research. Very long too. What in the world? Okay. We'll need some research, but we will see. Oh, you know what? This looks like something I saw earlier. Forever 21. Oh, it is a, um, I don't even know what it's called, like a, or eclipse at the bottom. I have no idea. I'm literally drawing a blank. You know what I'm talking about, where it like has a clip at the bottom. Um, probably won't be listing this one. It does look a little faded. It's got some wash bear to donate. Next up, ooh, this feels nice. Okay. Um, Cuddle Duds, this is not, I have sold something from Cuddle Duds before. I've sold like a pajama set. I think they sold for like around $30 or $40. Uh, this is like a weird kind of cow neck, long sleeve dress, pajama dress, tunic dress. I'm not really sure. I see, is that something that matches? Oh, hold on. Okay, so here's that. Um, this may be listed, maybe, maybe not. I'll definitely do some research on that. It is a pretty basic piece, so I'm not super hopeful but maybe we have a tie for something. I'm assuming it's this. Okay, let me see that down again. Stars above. <laughs> I don't, is that Walmart? Okay, well, it's okay. We have a stars above robe. At least it comes with the tie. So because it has the tie with it, it is sellable. Will I actually list it? Maybe, maybe not, but not terrible, you know? Definitely not going to get me good money, but um, it will definitely work towards getting my money back, possibly profiting from this box. Okay, let's see. We have something with a lettuce hem. Hmm. Not looking good, friends. Not looking good. Lettuce hem, long sleeve, tiny, tiny t-shirt. This, unless I can find a brand or size or something on here, this is definitely going to get relisted. And it looks like the brand tag was actually cut out. I can see where it was cut out. Sorry, did I say relisted? I mean redonated. Definitely going to Goodwill. Um, okay, I have a jacket. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Please don't be flawed. We have a Patagonia Cinchilla. Uh, definitely needs a lint roll, but size small. This is nice. It is just plain black, so it's definitely not gonna get as much as like some of the like really patterned prints, but 
I'm hoping I could at least get like 25, 30 bucks for it. I'm hoping, you know, if not more. I mean, most Patagonia fleeces go for way more. Um, I have actually sold one of the crazy patterns not too long ago, uh, fall 2016. So it definitely is a little bit uh, older. It's a woman's size small. I'm not seeing anything like glaringly wrong with it. Yeah, nice. I'm happy with that. Oops, I can't even see it. I'm happy with that. Not terrible at all. Patagonia, basic fleece. Lovely. Okay, I see a big puffy jacket. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, Uni Uniqlo Ultra Light Down Puffer Jacket. It looks like actually, oh, wow, oh gosh. It is very long, a very long puffer jacket. Um, this actually is, I'm not mad at this one at all. This one can definitely be sold, size medium. It's got a hood. Um, ooh, it does have a bit of a stain here. Has like a little mark on the sleeve. Not sure if that will come out. I can try. But got pockets, zipper pockets. Okay, not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Oh my gosh, this pile's getting bigger. Okay. We're getting like right to the bottom. We have a few more pieces left. First is another Fabletics. Actually, a little bit of surface dirt. But this is really cute. Fabletics, um, a sports bra. It's like a pastel. Can you see that? Pastel, kind of colored. Here we go. Let's just get closer. And not terrible, not great, but actually looks in really good condition. The band is like literally perfect. There's a tiny, tiny little surface dot. Surface, like a little bit of dirt right there. Gosh, it's so bright. Hello. Here we go. Oh, whatever. You get it. Tiny little bit of surface dirt, but this will totally get listed for sure. Looks great. Okay, you look relatively promising. Where are you? Where are you from? Okay, no brand, no brand, no brand. Please be a brand. You're very soft. Uh, everything's cut out. Okay, this is probably why this was definitely rejected. No brand, no size tag, but I feel like I could list it. It is extremely soft. Long sleeve, it's got a cute kind of tie at the front, slightly cropped. Um, I could definitely list this. Um, it's definitely gonna be some more work. I'll try and find a brand for it, but not 100% sure, but it's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, we've got like, we're down to like the last five pieces and I really wanna see like, not that one, like Madewell or like something, please. Okay, R, O, and D, E, red sleeveless blouse. Uh, this one could get listed. This definitely could just help bring up or bring down my cost of goods, bring up my potential profit, if there is any. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, not too bad, it looks in good condition, so. Probably list that one, not too bad. Okay, we have a pair of, oh, yes, oh my gosh, I knew it, it's at the bottom. Okay, we have a pair of Lululemon, please be, I shouldn't get too excited, please be in good condition. All right, here we go, a pair of Lululemon, they're like weirdly, the set, they're like boxing, they look like boxing, they're like weirdly silky. Black shorts, um, the size tag is ripped off, but I could probably find, find it somewhere inside of here. It actually, they actually look in really good condition. Okay, pair of Lululemon. I am now happy. Cute, these are really cute shorts. They have like the gold trim. They really do look like, like something you would wear if you're boxing, does, do they not? Okay, love it, very nice. I can list those. I may actually make my money back after all. Uh, okay, we have a Brandy Melville. Okay, I don't normally sell Brandy Melville. I don't like their, their sizing or lack thereof, <laughs> um, but this is actually pretty cute. It's a um, kind of like a, I would say it's chunky knit. How would I describe this? Just like a uniquely knit, can you see that? Uh, vest, this will definitely sell for sure. I was like, oh, what size is it? It's literally, there is no size. Made in Italy, 100% cotton. Yeah, not bad at this at all. Looks good, as long as there's no flaws on it, this will definitely get listed, lovely. Okay, last two items, everybody. Here we go. Karen Forbes. I can already tell I'm not gonna list this one. Bodycon dress. Oh, uh, maybe. It's a cute style. Little bodycon dress. It's like a very light, kind of grayish green with stripes on it. Um, I'm not seeing its size anywhere. Probably not. Maybe, but probably not. And finally, this is not looking great. <laughs> Forever 21. Another kind of tube top with straps on it. Ooh, and a hole right at the front. Okay, here we go. He cute, but you are flawed, literally right at the neckline. So 
to the donate pile. And that, that is everything. So I think I have, I definitely have like mixed emotions. I'm not mad, but I'm not like super happy either. Like I'm kind of just like, yeah, I'll make my money back. But I think the biggest thing that I'm getting out of this box is a YouTube video. So if I have, you know, the Eileen Fisher, which stuff itself for a lot of money, I have absolutely no idea what that is worth. Um, the Lulu, a couple of good pieces. So I'm not like, I'm not like upset in any way. So I'm, I'm okay. We're, we're doing okay. <laughs> so I'm going to put all, start putting all of this back. Um, I have a class that I have to uh, go log in online for. Um, but otherwise, I really hope you like this video. Um, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to do more of these videos. If you like, like these kind of videos, um, they're fun. I like doing it. I don't mind doing videos like this. Um, as always, there's a bunch of links in my description box for pretty much everything that I use for my reselling business. A lot of the stuff that you see behind me um, is linked. Yeah, if you see anything here that you're interested in, check the Poshmark, could be listed. Um, yeah, otherwise I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!